the United Methodist Church were defrocking. I just, I just, I am so angry. I actually started to use this word as a curse word. So what the frock is going on? <laughs> she said it in front of the whole congregation and everybody cracked up. Uh, you gotta have some humor, right, John? You just told me that. You gotta have some humor sometimes with the church and with, with ourselves. We have to sometimes we have to laugh at, at what we do, you know, as Christians, just to uh, just to get through the day. I'm assuming that most of you um, have heard what happened to me, and you know my story, the story of a father's love. Uh, Frank Schaefer of the United Methodist Church, an impossible choice. And in many ways, that summarizes what I was going through. Um, my son came out uh, to us, my wife and I, when he was about 17 years old, and said, Mom, Dad, I'm gay. Now, it didn't quite happen like that because he always complains that he was out of because a lady from the community had called me and actually told me, your son is gay. And he's also considering suicide. He should know this. And so when, when we asked him, Tim, we got this phone call, are you gay? He confirmed that he, confirmed that he had cried himself to sleep many nights, praying to God, please take this away from me. I don't want to be homosexual. But that did not happen. He, he had considered taking his own life. He thought it would be better for his dad, the minister, and his family and his community if he were just gone. So, of course, my wife and I were, were moved to tears. And we just embraced him and we told him things like, We love you, son. And that's never going to change. We love you the way you are. By the way, we believe that God made you this way. You are made into the image of God just like everybody else. All these years we gave him, gave our son these affirmations. And he changed during these years because at first he was still saying, if there was a switch I could flip and be heterosexual, I would do it. Anytime. Because in many ways, my son Tim is a very traditional guy. He always wanted to have family and children and just have the traditional you know, family, the, uh, the American dream. And uh, if you would always say for the longest time, you know, I, I wish I were not homosexual. Obviously, my son Tim did not choose to be gay. Now, my son Tim, after years of, of hearing affirmations, not just from my wife and myself, but from the people he surrounded himself with, people of faith, and people that love him very dearly, he now is very, very comfortable in his skin, and he has accepted himself for the years, a gay man. And he's proud of it now. He's a young man who we are very, very proud of, who's doing very, very well. When my son asked me in 2006, Dad, will you do my wedding? In one sense, he put me in a difficult spot. My first reaction to him was, it was, on the, it was a phone conversation. My first reaction was, absolutely, absolutely, son, I will do your wedding. And I was honored that he would ask me, as uh, most, if not all, clergy, uh, are happy when their children ask them to be, you know, a part of, of not only a part of their special days, but also preside over the events like weddings and baptisms and so forth. So I felt honored and I felt I felt a lot of joy that he would ask me. And my son later on, when this whole story broke to our church and and, and even became known in the news media. Uh, he said it was actually one of the hardest questions he had ever 